The crazy but talented director, Quentin Tarantino, is drawing a side eye, a little shade. Well, not a little shade, a whole shit ton of shade from the police union after calling cops murderers at an anti-police rally in New York City. Standing before crowds of hundreds in Washington Square Park on Saturday, director Quentin Tarantino spoke out against, in his words, police terror. The rally was part of Rise Up October and the last of the three-day series of gatherings against police brutality across the country with a collage of victims' photos in his background. Tarantino read the name of those killed by police in America. So Quentin Tarantino's on the right side of justice. Which side are you on, my brother? Which side are you on? I'm on freedom side. Yes, that's Quentin Tarantino. He's on the side of freedom and justice. Because, indeed America, if there was not excessive police terrorism and state-sanctioned violence like we're seeing take place all across this country, Eric Garner would still be alive today. Trayvon Martin would probably be going to college, right? Sandra Bland would be at home with her parents. Walter Scott would be able to pay child support to his children. The list goes on and on and on and on and on. But you know, the police union, because they really, America. I really think not all police unions, not all police unions, just, uh, in, just New York. <laughs> I mean, when it comes to we, will ne we are never wrong no matter what happens, no matter what we do, no matter how crazy it sounds, no matter if you cut it on tape, just no matter what, we're never wrong. That award goes to, like I would call the stick in the a mud award, goes to the New York Police Union, the Patrolsman Benevolent Association. And they are calling for a boycott against Quentin Tarantino's films. In a statement, the head said, it's not surprising that someone who is living a glorified living Glorified crime and violence is a cop hater, too. The police officers that Quentin Tarantino calls murderers are living in one of the most deprived big screen fantasies. And he went on and on and on and on and on. And how awful it is, blah, 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 blah. Here's the thing. Yes, Quentin Tarantino movies are very violent. But that is for entertainment purposes only. What police do every day in New York City, like choking people to death and stop and frisk and broken windows and all these policies that are not only racist and bigoted, but they also target communities of color, especially black men and boys. It's wrong. It's wrong. And my, I'm a big believer. My mom would say growing up, if you want, the first, thing, the first thing you can do to make a situation better is to admit that you have a situation. And this America is a situation, and I think what needs to happen, more so than anything else, is for police unions to say, whoa, we have a problem. And instead of being a stick in the mud, we want to be solution-driven. And we want to be part of the solution. How do we train our officers in unconscious bias? How do we train our officers to pick up on mental health uh, you know, to pick up on mental health issues? How do we train our officers to be better at their job and better serve the communities? Which is what they're there to do. We're there to protect and serve. Not brutalize and beat. Not kill and pillage. Not arrest and detain. Protect and serve. That is a job. It's a job. 